What absolutely fascinates me is just the sheer level of confidence atheists have, some atheists have, in their position that there is no God, there is no creator, there are no gods, there's nothing. There's nothing, it's just us and we exist and everything is an accident and we are here to only live once, YOLO, do whatever you want, be brave and see life through. These type of ideas, they say with such conviction and confidence. And the opposite is true too, that when they speak about religion, when they speak about God, when they speak about believers, when they speak about Islam, they speak of it in very derogatory terms sometimes. And they come across very aggressive and they come across very patronizing and they look down upon religious people and they say, look, how could you be religious? How can you believe in God? You know, how silly are you? What century do you live in? You know, what time do you live in? But what's really funny is that the people that claim that we are the ones that are believing in fairy tales are actually the ones that believe in the greatest fairy tale ever told, right? Literally, magic. Because when you adopt atheism and you deny God, or if you're a naturalist and you deny God and see there is no supernatural, there is no creator, everything is, that exists is just physical. Everything is a result of physical processes, full stop. It's one closed physical system. Those that adopt such views are, in other words, saying that everything that exists, the entire universe has come from either nothing or created itself somehow. That is nothing short of magic. That out of nothing, out pops the universe with all of its order, all of its fine tuning, all of these amazing things that we see in this world around us. Or that somehow it created itself. That is an absurdity. Or on top of it, further, some would even argue, well, it's created by another possible universe, which was created by another possible universe, and they go on ad infinitum. But that doesn't answer anything. You can't have an infinite chain of causes because you would end up nowhere. We wouldn't be here today because you cannot traverse the infinite. So in denying God and in confidently asserting atheism, what they fail to realize is that they are claiming the greatest fairy tale ever told. This is the absurdity of this worldview. They want you to believe that everything that exists has just popped into existence at random or don't even think about it. Don't worry. Just live your life and believe us because what we're saying we're saying with confidence, and that's enough. And, and the reason I wanted to make this video, brothers, sisters, friends, everyone that was watching, is to really look past these narratives, really look past these people that are conveying or proposing such a view, and really think about what's actually being said and what they're calling you to. Because at the end of the day, when you sit down and you really reflect and think about the reality of the world that we live in, and including our own existence, you would come to realize that the most rational, intuitive, intelligent position that you can hold is that there is a God, there is a creator, there is a cause that created everything and maintains and sustains everything. That is the most rational explanation for the world that we see, our own existence, our own beings, right? But if you're going to deny, you're going to deny, right? But anyone that's sincerely inquiring and sincerely looking into these bigger questions, I would really encourage them to be honest with themselves, put the baggage aside, right? and really look into the question of where did all of this come from. And also sometimes what clouds our judgment, and I'll make a separate video on this, is what clouds our judgment is our own desires, our own wants, our own whims, the things we want to manifest, the things we want to do. And when they are in conflict with what the Creator wants us to do, we, the easiest thing to do is just ignore the Creator, deny the Creator, right? But we'll touch upon that in another video. I thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts regarding this below. What you think regarding the atheist position. And until next time, take care.